<laughs> Goodbye. Oh, you're still there. Oh, snap! No! No, run! Ugh. Uh, uh, I didn't think they would charge after me like that. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered Sasa Sanctuary and explored the Sparrow Inn. And also, we gathered some really sweet rewards for rescuing Chun, the boss's daughter. This episode, we're going to be nabbing a stray bead and heading off to Ogta Forest to find the next canine warrior. Oh, by the way, we found a canine warrior last episode as well. You should go back and watch last episode. I really liked that episode. It went extremely well. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to these people before uh, heading out. The power orb has chosen you. I am now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Huh? Okay, whatever. I suppose it'll all make sense eventually. I must say, this child of the Sparrow tribe is doting on me. It's a little annoying. I'm not a pet. <laughs> you don't say. Sorry to hear that. And he says nothing else. Okay. What about you? Now, actually, something I should go into is, first of all, this is not the same... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. This is not the same save file that I've been using. I guess I could say, uh, because there's no place to save. If you look at the map, the nearest save point is outside of the inn, and I'd have to head past some required uh, cutscenes to do that. And so I just had to play back up to this point on my own time off screen. So some of my money won't match. Hopefully my praise does. I made sure that I fed every animal that I saw, but I don't think that my yen is the same. If it is, I'll be extremely impressed with myself. But yeah, I had to play back up to this point on my own time. So yeah, stuff is a little bit different, though I didn't do anything that I didn't do last episode, so it should all be good. Yen should be the only uh, difference that the two episodes have. So, Ty. I, I won't allow you to bully Take like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Okay, okay, the fight's over. And anything else? Tweet! Hey, would you mind losing that freaky face, Tweety? I agree. Oh, another thing that I did. I actually got a better ranking on time when I fought Take than I did when I fought him on the episode. It was only one ranking better. I, d I couldn't really try to match up time, so... Yeah, I, got, I did that one step better, but... Everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, let me go and feed these animals, then I can talk about the... Or, rather, I can go start doing the things that I said I'd do this episode. So, let me go and feed these tigers. Okay. And there are some birds over here. Also, there is a collectible for us to get off. Excellent way to start off video. Let me go and feed these uh, bunnies first. Six prey, sweet. By the end of this video, I should upgrade my stuff. Of course, I believe I said that last video too. So anyway, there are co two collectibles in this little alcove right here. Uh, the first one is a stray bead that's somewhere around here. Uh, I'll have to dig around to find it. Hopefully I won't find it without too much trouble, and I do. Stray bead. I obtained stray bead. And it's right here on the map. And the other collectible is right about here. And I can't I can't believe I dug that hole from that distance. These bunnies are pushy, literally. Okay, uh, can I dig this? No. I might have to cut, though I don't have much <laughs> ground to cover. Uh, I made a pun. It I'm not sure if chests can only be obtained during a certain type of time of day. Get away from me, bunny. But I don't think they are. So I should be able to dig this up with relative ease. Sadly, it's not nighttime, so I can't find it super easily. And also, these holes are disappearing, which is bad. Uh, I think I'm going to cut to when I find it.
There it is, finally. Uh, I think about five minutes uh, ticked by while I was digging around. I probably dug about 30 holes. Uh, in fact, pa uh, future pal, speed that up instead of cutting between things so people can see how many holes I dug. Anyway, we have a golden peach. Finally. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> That's... That's dedication right there. I will spend five minutes trying to find one thing that buried in the ground. And it's funny because not like 30 seconds after I dug it up, it turned nighttime, so it's just the game kind of trolling me. <sighs> or sh shall I say, ah. Uh... Oh, speaking of nighttime and things to dig up, we have something hidden right here. That was actually pretty convenient. Thank you, game, for apologizing. I accept your apology, but I don't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope they don't do that again. Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and run out here. If you remember, I said re I mentioned required cutscenes on the way out of Sasa Sanctuary. That's the whole point why I'm showing all of this instead of just cutting to Agatha Forest because this is required and that's the reason why I couldn't save. Ah, what a f what a fabulous hot spring, Wolfie! I heard a ruckus from afar, but. Why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Huh, <laughs> hot spring? I, I think we'll pass. Anyway, isn't it about time you started looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right. This festival is just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. The night of the full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of the year. You've heard the you've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's that's why the village pays homage to the gods and the sacred tree. This year is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. I better finish that bamboo ware I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog! I just love festivals. We gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you a little something to thank. Thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. You obtained... Mermaid coin? <laughs> Thanks, Gramps. Whoa, that's some grubby pocket change. There are many there are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of those coins. If true, you could travel across Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really? Those are some wicked coins! <laughs> he goes from saying they're grubby to being wicked. I guess he really hates them. Although, he said wicked good, so... I'll... I'll ignore that... alternate meaning. They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kind of... cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. Actually, your bamboo wear would have sufficed. It's almost festival season. The full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly 100 years since that beast was slain. But I always think of Kaguya when I talk about the moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. Ah, <sighs> there I go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. Wait, can we talk to bath attendant? Water! Water! The water's flowing again! I'm saved! My tasty fried drumsticks are saved! I'm in your debt. I will never forget what you've done for me. If only we got praise from him. Uh, before we leave, it's still nighttime, even though it's not dark for some reason. So I'm going to dig up this chest and grab whatever is inside, which is... A lacquerware set! Now, with that mer mermaid coin, just like Mr. Bamboo said, we can now warp between places. We just have to buy a mermaid coin. I believe shops now have started carrying them now that we got the one from Mr. Bamboo because they wanted to wait to explain the mechanic. So yeah, we can buy them easily. I think they're like a couple thousand yen, maybe 2,000 yen, which isn't half bad. It's just not something I want to spend a lot of money on because I'm still saving for that, uh, whatchamacallit, Infinity Judge, that reflector in Kusa Village, because we will be going back there once we all have all of the, uh, Canine Warriors. So anyway, I actually don't want to warp directly to Kusa Village. I mean, not Kusa Village, sorry, Octa Forest, because that a activates something I don't want activated, and we end up missing out on some text. So I'm going to be warping to 
talk a pass so that you guys can at least see how the mechanic works so I don't put it off till a lot later in the LP and then we get to actually use the coin because it's it's rude to not use a gift that is given to you so let's go ahead and use that coin pause and go to our tools menu and there's our mermaid coin let's go ahead and use it and we'll toss it in the water and we'll be sucked into a whirlpool, whirlpool. Except this whirlpool is special because we can warp. So we can warp to Shinshu Field. Actually, that's closer. I'm going to warp to Shinshu Field. So, let's go. And there we go. Beat me up, Scotty. And once the loading screen is finished, I have no idea why I'm showing this loading screen, we will end up dun -da -da -da, in Shinshu Field. Also, wait. I was going to say, is the sky normally this dark? Because I don't remember being this dark, but I think it is. It's just been a long time since I've seen such open air like this. Also, you. Let me hit you. Nice move, pooch. You're at your quest. Is, okay, I'm just wasting time. Let me go ahead and run on over to uh, Octa Forest. I keep forgetting the name. I'm not going to cut because it's just right here. So actually, yeah, I'm going to cut. So I'll be right back. Here we are. Whoa, oh my, you startled me. Sleepy, oh, you're alive. <laughs> I was going to get after him, but he's alive, so we don't have to sue. <laughs> hey, that's animal abuse. We don't have to sue that owner of the Kusa Village Inn. Even though we should probably sue her for not having as cool of an inn as, uh, as the sparrows. But, you know, it's humans. Humans don't have as cool stuff as animals. Just look at a Matarasu. Matarasu has a, a weapon on her back. We can't have that. So anyway, in... Octa Forest. I forgot the name again. We're going to go talk to Kokari, see what's up, because I have a feeling that Ume is the canine warrior. I don't know, maybe the fact that Ume is the only canine in Octa Forest spoiled it for me, but I, I think that we should talk to Kokari, because that seems like the best choice. But before we do so, using our new power of water spout that we got last episode, let's go ahead and douse these chests, or two of them, and grab a stray bead. Very nice. And a bullhorn. And if I can wet this treasure chest, finally, a holy bone M. Not too shabby. I don't typically like holy bones because I, I don't plan on taking damage ever. But in the event I do, because there's some super hard battles in this game, I am prepared. Okay, now if we ride this geyser up and fall down horribly, no. We ride it up. And then wall jump. Let me get a better camera angle here. And jump like that. And then we can... Oh, my word. No. Game. Seriously. Seriously. You didn't have to do that. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, you jump up here. Wall jump. I'm going to power slash this chest. Try that again. There we go. And then we get a lacquerware set. Game does not seem to like me this episode. I don't know what I did. Besides look up ways that I could emulate this game for funsies, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that would be a bad thing. Actually, emulation is bad, children, unless you have a copy of the game, because then it's actually legal. Nintendo's probably going to sue me now. I'm just going to stop talking and let Kokari uh, fix my bad commentary. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? No, that's what we we're going to ask you. He's always with me when I go when I'm fishing. He disappeared while I wasn't looking. You think he could have fallen into you don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? Deep abyss. I remember that name. The water in the deep abyss has always been a bit murky. But today you can barely see into it and the sur surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoke awoken. People call it Whopper. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. You don't think Whopper swallowed up Ume, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe I'll go talk to that lady who's visiting Hitoshio Spring. Hmm. Lady? Wait, let's talk to him again. Oh, he says the same thing. Okay, let me skip. I think that's the first time I've ever used the skip command for text. So, yay, me. Now, before we go talk to whatever lady's up at Hitoshio Spring, I want to actually utilize the... Fang Trader, because if you remember last time we were here, there was an equipable 
that we couldn't buy because we didn't have enough uh, demon fangs, but we can, the wooden mat. So let me go and buy it since I have barely enough to despair and equip it. Basically, this makes it so, uh, let's see, oh, it's wrong one down here, there we go. And we can equip three things at once. Basically, it makes it so whenever you uh, idle long enough to let Amaterasu sleep, you will start actually spending money, but in return for this, of, ugh, for the return of your loss of money, you actually regain health. So if you're doing a lot of hard battles that you don't want to waste uh, holy bones on because you are constantly using them in battle because the battle's super hard, which those exist in this game, then in between battles, you can actually heal. You'll know what I'm talking about when it comes up, but it's actually a super useful item for when those situations arise. So anyway, there's a woman here. And it's Kushi! Oh, what's up? Hmm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. Here's the barrel. Hmm? Why, looky here, it's Kushi! What, what you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, Snowy and Isun. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamigi Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at Hitoshio Springs, or Spring, has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way, we we we, we ugh, wow. That way, we can make the eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister. Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? That's right. It goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shirnui. It was the miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently, they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. Gulp. I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer so a sake to the gods at the festival time and pray for peace. Okay. By the way, sweetie, I was wondering, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all of the villagers. So I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you going to fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a good point. I hadn't thought of that because Susano usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it were as light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. How silly of me not to think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. Tricks are for kids, or rather, those trials and tribulations are for kids, because we have water spout. And I can make the game lag, hopefully, by using up all the ink in my jar. No lag, because the Wii is actually powerful. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? I don't know. How did it get into the barrel this time? Or this time? It's a miracle! Yay! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already! This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now I, now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton. Uh-oh. A red imp. Okay, buddy. Uh, just you, me, that Shamizen, and Isun. And there ain't room enough for the four of us. <laughs> what, what is it? Da-da-da. Do, do you want some of the spring water? Da da da. So sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way soon. How can she cannot carry that? What was that? Was that us? Back, you beast! Ah, it's Susano. Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into! Oh, it's you! Susano? Oh, snap. Three to one, okay. To take one more step towards the lady and it'll be your last. 
Four to one. Six to one. Ah, uh, the the great Susano, descendant of Hiro Nagi, for forbids it. D do not despair, my fair Kushi. Susano is here to s save the day. Ah, <laughs> uh, her hero. Uh oh, this looks bad. I I I swing my sword in the name of love. Susano style sword of passion. Here, here I go. I guess we have to help him. You leave my Kushi alone. Huh? Susano, watch out. And gone. Also, we got the floral finisher on him. Do you see that? He exploded into flowers. Interesting. Okay, so Susano really does have some power behind his blade. It's not just us. Hey, you did it, Pops. That was amazing. You looked kind of scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. That he did. Sort of passion. Shut up, Isun. <laughs> Susano. Um, th thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? Susano? I knew it. I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder and Kamiki, then that battle with the bear. Battle with the bear, some battle that was. And now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme. <laughs> he had the girl in the palm of his hand, and he let her split, slip right through his fingers. Gross. Wolf spit. The magnificent Isun takes offense. Why, I oughta... Huh? Where's Susano? Where'd he go running off to? He left without saying a word. Oh, he said some words. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's now it's time to win the damsel's heart. At least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here. Anyway. What was that? Sounded like an imp or a monkey screaming. That sounded like that Kokari kid. Uh, it did not sound like Kokari. Is he in trouble again? We better go check it out, Ami. We just helped two people and now we're helping a third. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. So that means... Also, I love this music. It just... It really kind of... I say exemplifies a lot because I can't think of any other word. But it exemplifies kind of panic, I guess? Because, you know, listen to this. This is urgent. This is urgent music. Things are in a rush because someone is in danger. We heard a scream. We have to hurry to that person's side. And we do. What's up, Kokari? Grr. Wow, looks like you got a big one there, kid. With all that noise you were making, I was sure the mo the monsters. Oh, uh, what? Ume. Ume. Shoot, my line snapped. Curse you, Whopper! I'm gonna catch you. Whopper? That that's Whopper. You're gonna pay for what you did to Ume! Yeah, you are. Hey kid, where'd that humongous fish come from? And wasn't that your dog Ume in its mouth? It was the legendary fish, Whopper! They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. So it really does live in these deep murky waters. Well, it's gonna be- it's gonna pay for gobbling up good old Ume. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left. 
but I'll snag that Whopper yet. This shall be the fa the, a battle to avenge Ume. Hey, Ami, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That Whopper, or whatever it's called, would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help him catch it. Help him catch the legendary Whopper. Yes, I will. It has Ume, and we need Ume for our quest. Otherwise, we're going to not have Ume. <laughs> now, that's what I wanted to hear. Let's get psyched up. I'm sure psyched up. I should probably play some psyched up music. I don't know. I know. You know that I'm... Okay. Okay, Ami. You get the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to Whopper. Don't let this be... Don't let this be the big one that got away. I definitely won't. Uh, which one's Whopper? Uh... All of them. <laughs> all of them are Whopper. <laughs> or, or, or that one. <laughs> uh, let's catch it. Is it Whopper? I don't know. I guess... Whoa. Oh, it's a... That's definitely Whopper. Truly, truly, it's Whopper. Or a killer fish, like before. I don't think the game really needs to do this again. Well, let's just trust it up to chance and just do all of them. There we go. I got a bite. <laughs> I don't know how, because my line magically went to all the fish. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this. Or fail. Uh, can I? you come back up again so I can power slash you and kill you good we got a crab hopefully we can eat it <laughs> you got a river crab and that must be whopper because there's only one of you whopper you're finished and I don't know why I do swirlies on the brush thing I got a bite this has to be whopper if this is not whopper I will eat ice cream <laughs> not just any ice cream licorice okay uh, let me go ahead and Fight this guy? Oh, that's Whopper, all right. But he's not as weak as them other fish. He, he takes two power slashes. And dead. Or, yes, he's dead. You captured Whopper. Yay. <laughs> I knew I could do it. Also, I'm sorry if I ruined that moment. I just thought it was a tiny bit funny that they had to reteach us that. I finally caught Whopper. Heh, <laughs> and here I was so worried about you, kid. You're the, you're one fine fisherman. You should be proud of yourself. Keep on fishing, and make sure to bring ho bring along plenty of line. <laughs> Definitely. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about Ume? He's never coming back. Oh boy, the crybaby's back. Don't worry. After all, you... Huh? That kid's growing on me. I, th I think he is on Ami, too, because she seemed legitimately concerned about him, and she hasn't seemed like that in a long time, if ever, to any of the characters. Look, the surface of Deep Abyss is as bright as shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm? Where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? That's because... We have yet another brush technique to collect. And this is probably... My second favorite of them all. Hey look! Another constellation! Of course I said that about Bloom. Let's go ahead and dot this. And dot this. And also dot this while we're at it. And that. Or not. Wait, wait. There we go. That's one homicidal rabbit right there. Sheesh. He's trying to kill us with the scythe hammer monster thing. I also don't know why I said monster. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently waited 
awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. I, Yurigami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. We now have the power of the moon. Yumigami, the god of moon power. So, Wappa really did swallow the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. Also, I can make the text appear faster, so I don't know why I'm reading so slowly. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. Oh my word, it's so good! I wonder if it really works. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, you don't want to draw a C. Like, you do not want to draw this. Because... I'm going to do that. Hey, it didn't work because I didn't actually draw it. Draw it. You basically want to draw a circle that isn't entirely closed. So, like that. And that was very awkward, but you guys get my meaning. It basically... It's a circle, but it's missing about an eighth of it. And that's what you want to do. The moon! The moon! It's come out! Now you have the power to turn day into night. <laughs> Think of the nighttime pleasures that await. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We still have that. We still have that matter. Princess Fusei asked us to deal with. Ume, where did you come from? Hey, sorry. Hey, I, 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 I. It's Ume. He came out of Whopper's mouth. Where is Whopper, by the way? You okay, boy? I knew it would spit Ume out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty ta nasty tasted canine. Really? Yeah. Never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. <laughs> uh, what? Did I say something wrong? No. I can't think of anything that you said wrong. Just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball. Okay, I, I can see that. White Wolf. How did you come to bear the canine tracker? Hmm? There's a familiar scent in the air. My former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. Besides, we turned down a bath earlier, so... Yeah, don't don't sniff too closely. <laughs> it's, it's, just like, it's just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Hey, wait. Did he just say something about the canine tracker? The canine tracker decrees that its bearer must shall prove its strength, or his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Actually, arguably Ume is the best canine warrior. Canine warrior, Jin. I'm going to just call you Ume. What the? For the second time. You're one of the eight canine warriors? It's obvious. Ami, this dog means business. Pick a fight? I like you, Ume. No. Well, hold on there, my good canine. We got, we got to get ready first. We'll take you on another time. Uh, oh. We have to. Oh, I didn't want to fight Ume. She's... Or he, sorry. It looks like a she. It's so cute. Like, um, Okay, this seems... If I remember right, this is one of the parts of the game... Okay, you remember the first time we bloomed a Guardian Sapling? I said that was the, that was the time where I got invested in the storyline? Well, right about here is where I got invested in the characters. Because Isun, you can see, he's kind of changing. He's no longer just kind of making fun of everything and being really sarcastic and uh, facetious. He's he's now getting to know people, and he's changing. At least I noticed that. You guys may not see that, or maybe I'm just kind of trying to see things where there aren't. But in my personal opinion, he's changing. And this is where I got invested in Isun and in the characters. Because Amaterasu kind of gains character here. She, you can see that she's concerned about Kokari when he was crying. She's not just standing there looking cavalier, she's actually concerned. And that's where I think both she and Isun start to change. They start to round out, and some of the rough edges are being bumped off. Never thought we'd be going up against you. Bring it on, you saggletooth. Okay, Ume, after that kind of emotional rant of mine. Let's go ahead and fight. Though I won't take pleasure in this one like I do with most of the other fights. Uh, that was actually cool. Also, what was that? What was that explosion? 
And Power Slash. Wow, also, I am making short work of this battle. Oh, that's cool. Whoa! What happened? Okay, seriously, what was that explosion? Uh, that was... Oh, that's what it is. He's leaving some presents for us. Okay, did he leave one there? No, okay. Also, I'm being really silent for this battle. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just trying to perform much better in this battle than I have previously, which I feel like I'm doing that. I feel very confident about this battle. Ume, I don't. Th I said I wouldn't take pleasure in this, but, oh man, Ume, Ume, I'm sorry, but this is this is too good. I, I'm, I'm taking you down. I'm taking you down, and uh, you're, you're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I had a very emotional moment there, and then I'm just suddenly laughing as I get an almost perfect score. What's up? That was so good. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Sorry. <clears throat> I know Princess Fuse summons me. <laughs> that was awesome. It is my duty to, <laughs> to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of Gale Shrine. We totally pwned you. <laughs> but this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What's you, what do you got? What am I to do? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I'm, I apologize. I kind of got <laughs> carried away. Also, graphical glitch. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. I just had to try to keep a straight face. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing. But I just thought that that battle was amazing. You obtained Justice Orb. What's what's this? The power orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. So you're not Ume. What? You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through? No. Because we have his orb, which I Justice Orb, that's what what it is. We don't need to. Also, the subjugation of Crimson Helm is now in your hands. Please tell tell what has transpired to my former master, Princess Fuse. Huh? But I'm more worried about you and the kid. Okay, that he says nothing else. One thing I've noticed about these characters is they don't actually necessarily have to have a triangle above their heads to uh, indicate that they have more to say. I, I noticed this in last episode. Yeah, last episode when I talked to that one hun uh, one hunter that the Sparrow Girl was doting on because also you can see the effect of the wooden mat here, which is going to be really cool in the out outro or end slate. Anyway, uh, the girl who was taking care of the hunter because sa he saved her life when she was younger, that guy, he says one thing about how he's glad that he's getting a lot of food, but then if you talk to him again, he has no indication. He'll, t he'll tell you about how he remembers when he was younger, how he saved a sparrow who was injured, and he's wondering if this is um, him being repaid for that good deed. So, characters don't need the triangle above their heads to have something additional to say, so I will be talking to everyone multiple times because of this. Kokari. Wow, that was some fight. Guess the Animal Kingdom's a rough place. Yeah, and it's a lot more complicated than the people think. It seems like Isun knows a lot about animals. He can understand what they say. He's translating for us, the, the gamer. But it just seems like he knows a lot more. Maybe his species has a very close connection with them. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Also, hopefully this is not right. My timer for recording says 47 minutes. And I dearly hope that that is not accurate. So, hopefully it isn't. Anyway... Now that we have our new crescent power, uh, crescent power ranger brush paint <laughs> car painter happy happy cultist <laughs> brush technique, we can end off this episode. Also, hopefully you guys got all the references in there. And if you like this episode, comment. And I release new episodes of Ovokami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, unless it's a special episode like this one where I go from cracking up like an insane person to tearing up. <laughs> then it's going to be long. So, yeah. Next time in Okami, we're going to be going to the last location. I wish I could open my map, which I can't. We're going to, go to be going to the last location. Where is it? Kamiki Village. 
to find the last canine warrior. See you guys next time. Paladin of Pal Plays, out.